What is up guys, it's Headsets Modern Warfare here, Gamer Time Banter Chicken, and welcome back to JTAG Tutorials episode 36. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically install and set up a Black Ops 2 mod menu. So there's a couple of different ways of doing this, the majority of them now are GSC menus. Um, and I haven't really covered this before, and I have had a few requests, so that's why we're making this video right here. So to begin with, I'll provide the download links for the, the two mod menus I have here. Um, and I will also provide a download link for this, which is Black Ops 2 GSC Loader. Um, you will need the loader plus a mod menu of some kind, of course, to actually use. Um, so, to begin with, what you want to do is make sure you have, obviously, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 extracted, uh, the ISO extracted onto an external hard drive or your internal hard drive and you need to be able to access it here through Xbox 360 Neighborhood or through XCX Menu or FTP, something like that. And once you have everything set up the way I have it here, you have all the, all the Black Ops 2 files, uh, what we're going to want to do is first of all open up the loader and extract everything in here to a spare space on your desktop. And so what we actually have here is we have the title update 18 extracted. So these are all the files uh, that are in TU18 because with Black Ops 2, for some reason, we have to install uh, the title update a little differently to the way we would normally install a title update. Normally we have one title update file, just one single file, and it goes in the, the cache folder or the content folder near where you normally place DLC. But with Black Ops 2, what we have to do with this is extract. What I've actually done is I've taken the title update file, loaded it into Horizon, and extracted every single file from that title update file into a folder here. So just in case a Black Ops 2, a new Black Ops 2 title update ever comes out, very unlikely now that that would happen, but just in case it does, that's how you do it. That's how you get all these extracted files. You just use Horizon to extract the title update file. I've got rid of the default mp.xexp and default.xexp uh, from this folder because you will not be needing that. You'll have one that's already patched with those files uh, right here. So the first thing you're going to have to do is install this title update. Now the way we do it with this is we extract all these files, all these extracted files, and we place them in the Black Ops 2 folder, in the game folder this time. So basically all you have to do is you have a load folder in here and you have a load folder in here so you open up the load folder and the load folder in here and you extract these two files into your load folder. Now I'm I'm being requested to overwrite because I already have those files in here you probably won't but if you do just go with it let it overwrite. So then the next one we go into the stream folder and we go into the stream folder in here and copy these three files into the stream folder and there we are okay finally if we go back into black ops 2 and then all these .ff files and that one ipack file or ipack yeah ipack file all of these just go in the root directory where all the other files are and you just copy all these 38 items in here and you just say yes to all okay so that's everything done now all the title updates copied over so that is it. You don't really have to do anything else with the title update. Uh, now what we have to do is replace the default mp.xex. But before you do that, I would highly recommend that you actually go ahead and make a backup of your previous default. Because the default that you're going to be replacing is a modified version. So we've got our default mp.xex. So before we overwrite it, I'm going to extract this into a backup folder. So we've got our original default MP backed up in case we ever want to put that back on. And we've got our mod loader one. So we're going to replace this with our mod loader one. You can see it's about half the size. So just say yes and overwrite the default MP.xex. Finally, we have this tesseract.dll. Somebody who ever made this is obviously a fan of uh, the Avengers. But uh, yeah, we have the tesseract DLL. So we're going to go ahead and pop that on as well. Again, I already have it, so I'm going to overwrite. 
and once you have done that, now bear in mind this tesseract.dll is not a mod menu. There are other mod menus where all you have is a default mp.xex and a, a blackops2.dll or bo2dll, something like that. So there are other mod menus where it's literally just a default mp.xex that is modified to load a DLL file and the DLL file has the mods on it. Um, whereas most of the sort of newer mod menus out now use GSC files. So you need this mod loader and it will load the GSC file. So the GSC file, the final thing you're going to need, uh, you have this RAW folder as well that comes with our Black Ops 2 uh, mod loader or GSC loader. So in here you've just got maps, MP, game types and then this text document is literally just there to tell you to place the client ID GSC files in here. So this is where you'll place your GSC uh, files from your mod menus here. So I have two mod menus, got Revolution and Massacre Beta. Uh, so what I'm probably going to go for is just Revolution. So as you can see with this mod menu, all it gives you is a client IDs.gsc file. And the same for this one, if we open this mod menu up, you've got client IDs.gsc, that's all there is with these mod menus. So what you are going to do is you're going to put these client ID.gsc files in here, where it says place client ID files here. That is where you're going to put them in this folder. And once you have done that, you can copy the whole folder into the root of your uh, Black Ops 2. And bear in mind, if you already have a raw folder in the Black Ops 2 directory, then you will not replace the whole folder. You will just go inside the raw uh, folder into game types MP uh, or MP game types and then place your client ID file in there. Okay, and once the raw file has transferred over, you double click on raw. Just make sure that the everything's been transferred over. We've got our client IDs.gsc for our mob menu. And that is pretty much it. All you have to do now is run the default mp.xex. Now, bear in mind that some mob menus are probably only meant for online use. So if you're trying to play it in system link, it may not work. If you are planning to do this online, remember that you need a band bypass for Black Ops 2. Um, so if you have a band bypass as a XEX or you have a band bypass inside your whatever stealth service you, you're using, then that would be fine, but with Black Ops 2 band bypasses, you're meant to sign out of your profile before you launch the default mp.xex. So make sure you're not signed into a profile uh, before you launch this. One other thing is that these are mod menus. So mod menus only work when you're host. So make sure that if you are using this online, make sure you go into a private match to test it first rather than just jumping into an online match and getting into an online game and trying to open your menu only to figure out that the menu doesn't work because you're not the host of the game. So check it in a private match first. Um, so I am offline. I'm not on stealth right now. So I'm signed into a profile. So I'm okay to just launch the default mp.xex and I'll go over to the uh, console and show you guys what to do from there. Okay guys, so I've got the game loaded up now. Like I said, remember to be signed out of a profile if you're actually doing this online and then signed in once you're at the main menu so that your bypass will work. Um, so anyway, this menu I put on is Revolution. It's supposed to work offline and online, so we should be good. Um, so if you're going to be testing this offline, then go into System Link and Create Game. If you're doing this online, go into Xbox Live, go into a private match. And we're going to create a game. Just start game here. And we'll test to see if this mod menu is working. Alright, so you see Revolution menu made by Endstone. Enter left, hold down left trigger and press right stick. And there we go. So we've got the menu open. I've uh, not used this menu before, it looks pretty decent, there's quite a lot of options in here. But we can tell that the mod menu is working absolutely fine, so A to select. A lot of mod menus are different, some use right trigger and left trigger to scroll up and down, some use the D-pad, this menu uses the D-pad. 
Some menus use X to select an option, others use A to select an option. So yeah, for this menu it is hold down left trigger, press right stick to open the menu, up and down arrows to scroll up and down, A to select and X to go back. Um, so anyway, if you enjoyed the video feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, comment if you have any questions. Um, if you want to load another mod menu on then you've got your your game all set up for mod menus now so all you have to do is stick a, a new GSC for whatever menu you have inside the raw folder um, and overwrite your, your current one and you'll have the new mod menu. So that's it, thank you guys for watching and I will hopefully see you guys in my next video.